making our way into Portland. We are meeting up with our oldest son and Angela. We are heading to an adventure store because tomorrow morning at 2 a.m. we are going to summit Mount Hood with him. It's going to be awesome. It'll be so fun. You know, it's no, I think it's a 6,000 foot elevation gain over four miles. So it'll be a, it'll be a nice workout for sure. And Alex has done this before, so he has all the equipment and uh, or the safety gear and. He's going to be our guide. So He's going to be, be our, our guide. guide. So we are looking forward to it. It's going to be a long, strenuous day. He said it's going to take about seven, uh, eight, seven hours. eight hours to go up and down, and so we're super excited. And maybe not about getting up at. 2 a.m. but yeah. <laughs> really really looking forward to it what a what a blast it's gonna be so we're currently at an adventure store in Portland Oregon with our son we're renting equipment to do a hike tomorrow mountaineering um, up Mount Hood with him and we're renting our equipment here at the store we're getting um, mountaineering boots crampons, um, ice axe, helmets, and a headlamp. Uh, we're heading out to do the hike at two in the morning. Tonight we're gonna do a um, camping um, right at the base of Mount Hood. Yeah, that's more dangerous. No. Um, you guys have done way more dangerous things. Yeah. If anything, the snow might soften up a little bit, which is not great for climbing, um, but it's really nice for coming down because then, uh, like one of the, one of the times I climbed Mount Hood um, and walked down, the snow was so soft where I could just I was on a steep slope. And my feet, yeah, so I could just lunge all the way down. Yeah. And then also if you slide, if it's a sheet of ice, that's obviously dangerous. But if it's not, um, you might slide a little bit, but not far. The angle of the slope where it gets like more serious is the last like 500 feet. Oh, okay. So it's it's steep. Um, it's steepish. It's a steep climb where you want trekking poles up until about a thousand feet left, and then from there we'll put on our helmets. Um, and we'll take out our ice axes and we'll walk with that. And then for another 500 feet, it'll be a little bit more steep. And then the last uh, 500 feet or so, it'll be steep enough where you can comfortably scramble with your hands. So, uh, trail mix for us, some um, chili mango slices. This I won't use, but I always bring a emergency winter, like deep winter. Um, puffy. So if we're out for a while and someone gets hurt, we'll give. How many you have of those? One meal. Oh, uh, I, I call divvies on <laughs> that thing. So. so I also have uh, my windbreaker rain jacket. I have my my crampons, my skins for uh, my split board, and avalanche. Uh, shovel, um, a probe in case someone gets buried, a first aid kit um, with a bunch of stuff in there, and then my ski crampons. Um, and then I also have water filter for emergencies, fire starters, and NASA blankets um, if we need to get someone more warm. All right, we are set up for the night so we can prep and get ready to do our hike at 2 a.m. or the summit uh, to Mount Hood. Right now, the visibility is not great, but at 2 a.m., it's not gonna be either. It's gonna be dark yet, but looking forward to this uh, mountaineering activity.